What is going on everybody? Pond number 23 here back with another fishing video. Today I'm going to be out here fishing for channel catfish. Let's see what we catch. Alrighty, well today is going to be a newer video that I typically don't do and that's going to be fishing for some channel catfish. Again, got these ball of worms and um, I already caught one so far. So we are going to keep on fishing. I mean, I took the cast for about 20 seconds and hit it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be using, these worms. And then if I catch a few bluegill, I could use that as bait too. But for now, we are just gonna be rocking with that setup and with the worms. So yeah. All right guys, well, we got a catfish on the line. been fighting him for about two minutes now looks like he's a pretty good size ah. let's get him up here ah there it is look at that nice little bigger channel cat I casted my worm out for about 20 seconds and he absolutely hammered it so yeah look at that look at how look at how cool that is first little catfish on the day again like I said had him on the worms he absolutely destroyed those but um yeah let's keep fishing with these worms and um I might catch a bluegill and use that as bait but worms are working so yeah there it is for catfish All right, well, I just set up that rod, so now we got two rods ready for catfish, so let's see um, when we get a bite. Um, I have the drag set but on both of them, so I'll definitely know because the catfish will just run with the drag, but yeah, already caught one so far. Let's see if we can catch another. All righty, guys, quick little update. Um, I got a bigger hook, and I caught a bluegill, so I cut him into pieces, and I'm now going to be fishing with him. So, yeah, there it is. That's what it's going to be looking like. So, hopefully I can catch more catfish because I've been fishing for about two hours or so after and didn't catch anything, so. Got one. Catfish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Would you look at that? Within 20 seconds again, this is the second day. Again, like the same time. Caught another channel catfish right there second one on the video i caught this one on chicken liver um the first one i caught on worms but yeah look at that really cool but again another channel catfish hope yeah, hopefully we can catch even more so yeah there it is well that was really quick but yeah there this is the setup big old circle hook then you got the chicken liver but yeah, that is what caught the catfish right there. That setup right there. The one yesterday was on worms. And then I had a bite on the cut up bluegill, but who knows? So, yeah, set this rod up too. So, we got both rods going and. Uh, Well, my rod absolutely just got hammered took all of the chicken liver so that's good got another bite about five minutes later so let's put some more chicken liver on and uh i know you probably don't care at all but like 
I just got this chicken liver from Walmart, honestly. I use it a lot for catfish because there's a lot in one container. It's like five bucks. And it just works really well. But already, well, let's uh, cast out again and hope we get hit again. Caught one fish so far and got bit on that one again. Nothing on this rod over here, but it's only been about 20 minutes, so good start so far. There he is. Got him. Got a catfish. Swimming right at me. It's not a bad size. Oh my gosh. Dude, he hammered that. Absolutely hammered that. Oh, he's a smaller one, but he's fighting. Oh. There it is. Well, that is the second channel cat on the day. That is the third on the video. But boy, he absolutely crushed it. Um, I think this one, this one was uh, on worms and chicken liver. I kind of combined it. Alrighty, well, again, there it is. And, uh, yeah, I think uh, we're going to do a catch and cook. Um, I might keep this one, but if we catch some more, I'll have some fried catfish. So, yeah, there it is. Yeah, I got him. Another catfish. Look at that, there it is, another channel catfish, number four. Again on the chicken liver. Chicken liver has been working, so. Anyways, there it is. Another little channel catfish. Third one today, fourth on the video. Alrighty guys, well we got these two catfish that we are going to clean and cook. So I will see you when I am back home, but let's go ahead and cut these guys up and make a nice meal out of them. Okay. Alright, so basically what I just did, I got some bolt cutters and cut off some of the dorsal fins that help lay flat, because if not, he won't. But, but um, yeah. We are going to be cleaning this catfish. Um, I'm gonna be making a few fillets. This is the first catfish, I have one more. And then we are going to be frying it up. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. And I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So as you can see, those are the first little fillets. I still have to skin them, but got this catfish too, right here. And uh, we are gonna fillet this guy up too, so we will have a nice little meal of fillets after I skin those. The next step is going to be to skin all of those. So, um, basically, you're just trying to get all the skin off and keep as much meat on as you can. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. 
Alrighty, so now kind of comes the tricky part of this process. So you got to get all of the skin off and you don't want to take off too much meat. It's pretty hard and hopefully I am able to do it. So far, so good. And that was actually perfect. Do you see that? Um, you can still see this fine. Look at that. I got all that off and there's really no meat. So I'm um, not gonna lie. Uh, that was way better than I could do. So, I mean, wow, that was pretty surprising. There it is, our first completed filet. Um, uh, we'll keep on cutting some of these up. There it is, another filet. Gotta make sure to get all of that skin off. That is the final filet that we have for today. And well, that completes the cleaning process. So um, as you can see, have all these filets. And the next step is to fry all of them up. Um, I'm gonna be cooking with my mom. So hopefully that'll taste really good. But yeah, there it is. All the filets that we just made. All right, so we got the fries going right now, and then we got all of the fillets, we got the fish batter, and then in this bowl, I'm gonna be making the tartar sauce, but we are going to be making some fish and chips. Okay, so while those fries are cooking, um, I'm gonna show you how to make some tartar sauce. All right, so it includes the mayo, um, some lime juice, and some relish. Okay. So you want to get a good amount of mayo. If I'm being honest, my mom just told me to put the rest of the mayo in, so um, I don't really know how much that is. So, so yeah, um, that's the mayo right there. And then you want to go ahead and uh, two tablespoons of lime juice. There's one, and there's two. And then for the relish, get about two or three tablespoons. So um, that is what it should look like. And then now you wanna go ahead and mix it all up. Um, there is that, that is the tartar sauce that is what it should look like um again it's just relish some lime juice and this mayo very simple only three ingredients to make it so yeah that is going to be um the sauce for the fish and chips and then if you if you take a look over here got the fries going and once those are done we are going to go ahead and put the catfish in the batter and cook them up. All right, so now we have the, the batter and we are going to take our filet, completely dip it in, and then when it's done, it is ready for frying, so. Going to take our catfish and go 
ahead and fry that bad boy up. And then we are going to go ahead and put some batter on more of these. But, um, yeah, let that cook for a little bit. And uh, let's get these other ones on. There it is, that's the first piece. Here's the next one. And the final one of the set. Um, those are looking actually really good. I do have to say the skin came off a little bit. Uh, the crust wasn't the best, but boy, do those look good. All right, everybody, well, we just finished cooking the catfish. We are now onto the plating. All right, so, um, let's go ahead and take the catfish and then we got some fries too. There you go. And then, most important thing is this tartar sauce. Get a nice scoop of it. There you go. And that right there is the completed version of fish and chips and that is a catch and cook on channel catfish.